dance is kind of a universal language. And so what's very interesting is a lot of the, the, the modes that I used to teach uh, back in the United States, I use them here because, again, dancers tend to know this kind of universal you know, expression. And since there wasn't the language barrier, uh, we were really able to fully engage in, in, in the work. Um, I didn't find that I had to modify anything in that regard. I will compliment these students on their incredible tenacity. Um, for some of them, they had had, really hadn't had any experience in this kind of work, you know, which was kind of informed by the Martha Graham technique. But they jumped right in. They went full on. And I, I would assume that's probably something maybe very prevalent in the mindset and the culture here. This is a very intellectual and you know, a very, uh, very smart culture. And so the dancers are really bright. They're really, really bright. And um, I, didn't, I, I never felt at any point that I had to be disengaged with what I normally do. I think the whole idea that the movement is very, very physical. Um, it's, uh, and I think in some ways very organic. It, it always, sh it shows the effort of movement it, it, rather than classical ballet where you try to disguise it. You get to see the bare bones of the movement. And I think a lot of dancers find that exciting, particularly in contemporary movement, because a lot of it is about storyline and emotions and the inner workings of people. And this technique really suits that well. Sometimes I find students that have perhaps less talent but work really hard actually do better than someone who just has talents and relies on that. Um, um, I uh, had a, uh, there was a man named Tom Skinner and he said this, he said, uh, hard work beats raw talent any day. And what he had discovered, which I also discovered too, is you find someone who's just hungry and passionate for it. Um, they usually go further than someone who just has raw talent and, and that are just beautiful on, to look at uh, because they understand the depth of commitment and the totality of dance and, and this idea that you, it's not that I, um, I have, uh, it's not that I want to dance, it's that I must dance. Uh, a person who dances doesn't just use their hands or their bodies, they use their mind, they use their emotions, their whole being is engaged in it and, and witnessing that, a person who comes in and sees that, it really, it can be a life-changing experience. I mean, certainly that's what got me drawn to dance when I saw my first really major performance, was seeing this kind of total picture. Um, but we have, I think we have an obligation to preserve that. I mean, thank, thankfully, I mean, we've got what's going here in the Arts Academy. I mean, they really have a vision for it being studied and not just dance, but dance theory, dance history, dance music, all of that, you know, so that it can be preserved and, 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 and expanded and prolonged. You should be very proud of these kids. They, they do well, and, and some of them aren't as experienced as others, but they all come with the same palette of commitment, and that's really good. That's really, you know, uh, choreographers and teachers really like to have that.